All right, so welcome to the next video in the market internal series. In this video, what we'll cover is the middle chart that you see here, which is the combined big tech. If you haven't watched the first video, I talked about the underline and I went through examples of how I look at the underline and charts to get further edge when trading the futures market. So you want to you want to definitely check that video out. It'll be linked below. You'll see a little link here in the video to that video if you haven't watched it already. In this video, we're going to specifically talk about this chart. So let's enlarge it and let's jump in and talk about uh, at first what I'll do is in, in the free videos here on YouTube, I will discuss what this chart is and, and some of the philosophy behind it. And then uh, in the training section, I will share specific rules that I use uh, when trading with this chart. So if you're a member of the training, you want to check out obviously this video, but then also check out the specific section in the membership where I discuss using the big tick symbol. So what is this? Well, this chart is basically just the weighted, the biggest five weighted companies on the NASDAQ combined into one ticker. You can see here it's uh, Facebook plus Apple, well, Meta plus Apple plus Amazon plus Microsoft plus Google plus Tesla. And that gives you a chart that we're looking at on a five minute view. And this chart I know has uh, quite a bit of lines. Uh, it does have the Rexdog trade system on it, uh, but it also has uh, some additional things that I'll talk about here. So the first thing what this does is it basically just adds up whatever's happening on that chart. Now one of the things that we can do, let me open up a new chart. So let's do this. Actually, let's just uh, open up two charts. So what happens when I open up two charts here? We don't get the index. So I was hoping I'd get the index, so I'll probably I'll have to open up all three charts. So you'll see that this is the screen that I often do show in my live trading and also talk about in Discord. Now on the left, we'll, we'll be covering, this will be a separate video, we'll talk about the advancing and declining and how I use that and the rules around that. But what I want to share here is how this chart, this combined sim symbol, so to say, what it does is it provides you with sometimes early warning on a move or how things want to move uh, on the actual NASDAQ, on the futures market, on the NDX. So I'll give you an example of this, and this is a trade that I did today. Uh, I did a long trade, uh, and it was kind of obvious on the, on the NQ momentum-wise, but one of the things that drove into my conviction is you can see here right around uh, 1210 what happened here at this point in time on this chart if we scroll in is that the uh, the underlying big tech that I call it so I call this combined sim symbol big tech so it's big tech I mean Tesla's in there I guess Tesla could be a tech company but what I when I went long here right around this time on the NASDAQ this was actually an early fade trade, and this is a prime example of how using this big tech chart gives me an additional edge on answering the three questions. Three questions is, where is price coming from? Where does it want to go? And how does it want to get there? Well, here, right where this switchover happened on this candle right here, this would have been an early fade trade. It would have been an early, it'd be a fade momentum long, or be a fade long trade that you'd enter here. And it's really not the best trade to go long. But on this chart here, it was showing me that what is most likely happening is that there's going to be a VWAP test on the overall of this symbol. And that's what actually transpired. So the signal that I took to add more conviction to go long right in this area, which isn't within the trade system that we trade, the best risk reward trade. If you didn't have this additional signal and looking at what was happening on the up volume down volume combined chart, this is a trade you would have took with lower conviction. But because how the underlying this combined signal recaptured the Rex dog average, the yellow line here, and then held it, I had conviction that that what the direction of the market was was an upward test. Now that upward test would have been the RDA here um, on the actual index, index, but the upward test here was right around the VWAP. So once it captured that, I could answer the three questions and said, where is it going? I think there's a high probability it wants to check in with the VWAP. So that's what it did. 
So this trade here is, if you were to grade this trade in the system, if I went long here, this would be a C trade. It's not a high probability trade. It's not quite a D, but it's an aggressive fade trade because the bias of the chart and the momentum of the chart is still short. So you should be looking for short opportunities. But because of what was happening on the underlying, actually, I went long there, and I went long on higher conviction, especially right around the 12.30 time frame, right around here, when it did recapture momentum, and this test held up on the RDA, giving me further confidence that the underlying was giving me early clues on the direction of what the index was going to take based on where is its target. Its target was the VWAP. Well, here, at that point in time, we do have some various targets and levels, but the targets on what we're trading, the actual NQ, wasn't as spot on as the signals you were getting on this underlying chart. So that's a prime example. So now let me dive into the underlying chart. Uh, that was just using raw price action and using the system. So I have, I have a few different things here than you see on my typical chart. Uh, one of them, uh, we'll start with this. These dots that you see, these are rolling VWAPs uh, over the last 11 days. And this is actually a free indicator that I released. So this is one that you can add to all your charts. I explain how to use it. There's examples in here how to use it, and the code is fully available, so you can kind of see the code. So uh, this, what this does, uh, using this chart here, is it gives me an idea of where is price at in regards to the 10-day rolling, rolling VWAPs. Obviously, if it's above like this, you are more momentum long because you've got a lot of check-in areas that it can check in, but it's, it's, it's trading above all the 11-day rolling VWAPs. Uh, when it was back here and it was selling off, you can see it started to get below all the rolling VWAPs. And it had a lot of work to do to recapture them. That's really what it's done in the last this last week here. It's recaptured them. But you can see here, there's it provides some really good reaction areas. These rolling VWAPs. Uh, you'll see here, it came up here and it sold off. Uh, went short, gap down from there. Came out here, it had some reactions. So that's why this is on my chart. I use this. There are certain rules that I use that we'll talk about in the uh, the video that comes after this. Uh, the other thing that I have on here is I have the full Rexdog trade system. So as, as you see, it's it's using the full Rexdog trade system. In addition to that, I'll just go down the line of the indicators that are on this chart. Number one, we do have the VWAP with the VWAP deviation bands. That I believe is a, uh, I think it's a free indicator that I have. Uh, you can look under, all of this will be linked down below. Uh, this is uh, this red cloud. This is 200. It's a 200 mix average. For this chart, whatever reason, I'm testing out this indicator. It basically is the difference between the EMA and the SMA. So if the 200 SMA or the EMA is above the 200 EMA, uh, if, the, if the 200 EMA is above the 200 SMA, then it's, it's going to point like this, like green. If it's red, then it's the opposite of that. The other thing that I have is on the weekly opens. So And then I also have Y day yesterday's VWAP line, VWAP close on here. That's this blue line you see here. Once again, how are you using this? You're using it the same way you use the rest of the, the rules in the Rexdog system. You're looking for momentum. You're looking for bias. You're looking for reaction areas. And uh, everything on this chart, I know, once again, uh, for those not used to looking at my charts, uh, having all of this stuff is uh, probably uh, just uh, frustrating. Uh, but uh, once again, I have all these on my charts because they uh, something I can look at at a glance. And just like the trade that I mentioned before, it was obvious when it actually started to trade here, close above the RDA, that uh, the target most likely was a VWAP test. It hasn't tested the VWAP since it sold off. So that was my narrative. And it gave me a good 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 5 to 10 minutes early warning on a trade that I wouldn't normally trade heavy. So that's how I'm using this. Um, now the next video in this will be for members only. I'll specifically talk about some rules around the indicators that you see here and some things that provide you with even additional edge. These are sometimes, uh, what you're gonna learn in the next training video is like, is oftentimes you see me time bottoms or tops pretty decisively. Uh, some of that comes from information gathered on this chart 
and gather it in a very specific way that will be very clear when it's, once I explain it. So that's all. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, links for everything will be down below. You'll see a link to my website. You can learn about the trade system that I talked about. You can also learn about how to get started. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.